Welcome back trainers and the next community day has been announced. We did get kind of a teaser showing some sort of footprints and a few people had some guesses about uh, which bird it is going to be. Come to find out it is going to be Fletchling and then finally into Talonflame. So a uh, pretty interesting Pokemon to choose here. Let's see what we have going on. So Fletchling is going to be the Pokemon spawning which is going to be normal and fire more on that in a minute. The move it is going to learn as Talonflame is going to be Incinerate. Now we have a bunch of experience with this move in PvP using Typhlosion. We'll talk about that here down the line. Times 3, catch XP. Now if you're sitting on a bunch of XP, you don't want to pass this up. We'll talk about why you want to get as much XP as possible even though you're sitting on a bunch and uh, you were able to get to level 50 no problem. Now moving on to the image here as to what you can expect. We're going to be getting of course the Elite box which is going to contain an elite fast tm and of course you're going to have to pay that around you know 1300 uh, poke coins you're going to have a special research and we already went over the bonuses the three hour incense is something we're already going to see and then of course you're going to be able to get five fletchling to appear when you do take a snapshot of your pokemon so just extra there it is going to be weather boosted under partly cloudy and windy weather it is not going to be flying type quite yet with that normal and flying typing, we're going to go over how you can maximize to get as much XL candies, regular candies, because some people are asking, how in the heck did you even get enough candies to max out those level 50 Pokemon, especially the Machamp community days, folks, as well as having items and catching as much as you can. Now, taking a look at PV Poke to see where it is going to be landing as far as usability. Now, taking a look at the ranks as we are going through here is not going to be its final rank with Incinerate. We're going to see the percentage in its win rate compared to the entire meta for that specific league. Switch it over to Incinerate so you can see the dramatic difference. And I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, Incinerate is in fact making this Pokemon a lot better. Okay, so it's going to be very fun. Kind of like a Ho-Oh almost, I suppose. You know, got that fine flying fire. So we're sitting at a 59% for the Great League here with Fire Spin, Brave Bird, and uh, flame charge. So we're not changing the charge move. We're just going to simply change the quick move to incinerate here so we can see exactly what's going on. So you can simply do this on PV poke link in the description, changed it up and we're going to look at it one more time. So at 59.3. Okay. We're going to go ahead and hit battle now and see what it's going to be sitting at for a win percentage up against the meta. And it moves up to a 73% flat. That's fantastic. That is absolutely amazing. Okay. So we will go over the IVs that you will also need for, the greatly the, the ideal iv so you'll be all set here very excited for this it is going to be going down march 6th and that is actually going to be a day before my birthday so I, i'm excited i like talonflame this this cool pokemon for sure now going over the ultra league open here as you can see the various different matchups with fire spin of course not incinerate going to go ahead and head over to all of the Pokemon in the Open Ultra League to see the win percent. It is going to be sitting at a 64.2. That's actually pretty good. All right. So let's go ahead and switch the Fire Spin over to Incinerate to see what it is going to be jumping up to. If you do enjoy these videos, folks, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn notifications on. If anything, just hit that like button. It really helps me out. All right. Now let's see where this is going to be landing here. It was at 64. Now it's at 74.5. That's a 10% jump. That's pretty good. As we would expect it's going to be extremely weak to rock as you've seen there now moving into ultra premiere so no legendaries or mythicals let's see how well it's going to be, be performing here good up against even charizard as you can see of course obama snow and then even snorlax and escavalier of course because of that weakness to fire okay now let's go ahead and see what the win percentage is going to be for the ultra premiere here for it without incinerate it is going to be a 66.4 percent and again, Talonflame is not horrible right now with the current moves that it does have. I personally do have one in the Great League. Haven't really made a video, but I've used it. So we were at that percentage. Let's go ahead and see again. 66. Okay, let's go ahead and hit that in Ultra Premier. Now it's going up to a 64.8. So it's only getting better. That's it. Now I'm going to tell you this though. Yes, it's getting better. But you do need to practice with Incinerate. If you have no experience with it, you will be overcharging you will be um, over tapping and you're going to get destroyed if you do not know how this is going to work. I've you know, made plenty of videos with Typhlosion when I first started using it. We were doing all those mistakes, but now we got this down pat. All right, so taking a look at my XP, we're loaded, right? But I am still going to try to maximize as much as I can. I'm gonna turn on Lucky Egg. So this is my only Talonflame here. 
and let's go ahead and go back to that XP. So basically, yeah, if you're stacked on XP, it doesn't matter. Niantic will be releasing more levels in the future, but if you're somebody who's just got like a ridiculous amount of XP, maybe you don't really need to worry about it, but you know, grind as much as you possibly can for the future because I think the XP is gonna be getting a little bit outstanding. The, the, just the goals that you're gonna be having to meet. I know this is going to be in several years. We just got level 50. I'm just giving you a heads up. So anyways, looking at the items that I do like to prepare going into this community today, especially ones that I want to get as much candies as possible, you want a lot of those pineapple berries. So that's that, that's your question answer to the person who was asking, how did I get so many? Basically, we have a auto catcher, dual catch one that's catching as much as possible. We're always stacked up on Pokeballs. And when we do hit clusters, we are going to be pineapping as many as we can and catching them. Silver pineapps work, but I kind of like to save those for a little bit more rare things. You're going to get an extra candy as opposed to the pineapp, um, but I wouldn't really recommend using those. So moving on, how to maximize your candy even more. Well, what is Fletchling going to be? It's going to be a normal and flying. And what do we have for the Megas? We got a normal and flying Pidgeot Mega. So if you did not know, when you do have a Mega Evolution Pokemon equipped as your buddy, you're going to be able to actually get more candies when you do catch Pokemon of its typing. Now, they don't have to be the same type, like, you know, both normal and flying. It just has to have one of the typings. You're going to be good to go. Also, Charizard can help you out as well because it is going to have that flying typing. But honestly, just go with the Pidgeot. I personally am going to be going with that Pidgeot. We'll take a look at mine in just a minute because it does just have those perfect typings that do match up with it. It is not going to be yielding you some sort of crazy astronomical numbers uh, as opposed to not having Omega. It's going to be getting you an extra candy, but that does accumulate over time. So just giving you a tip here because there's really not much more to talk about other than how to prepare to get as much candies as possible because you're going to want an XL in the Ultra Premier or the Ultra League Open, okay? And what are the IVs? We'll take a look at those here in just a moment. Now take a look at my Pidgeots personally here. We're actually going to be investing a ton of XL candies here and I have yet to actually make a Mega Pidgeot. We do have a pretty good IV one with a Legacy, that first one that you did see here. Oh yeah, really liking this one. It is going to be maxed out at level 40, not to 50 yet. I was contemplating powering it up and we will be putting those in. I'll just see what it's going to land on here and how much it's going to take. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just do that. I don't want to put all of my candies in here because I do believe Pidgey is going to get a community day sometime in the future in which I don't know what I'm going to do. We have Gust and I also do have a legacy wing attack quick move on this one. So which one's better? According to PV Poke, it looks like Gust is a little bit better, but Wing Attack is also going to be fantastic, so don't try to DM that away. Now, taking a look at the IVs that you're going to want for the Great League here, to the left and then to the right, we have the Ultra League. So, go ahead and take a look at that. It is going to be a 0, 13, 15 for a 100%, not IV, but, you know, production value for that Pokemon. And then for the Ultra League, you're going to need a 15, 15. Now, if you want to go down the route of having a best buddy you're gonna have to have like a lower level but you're gonna want to just stick with this anyways if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up get hype for the talon flame community day thanks for watching and take care